Amen. Praise God. Welcome back to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back. I meant to go back over some more prayers concerning the blood of Jesus. Amen. So before we get into the prayer itself, I'm going to read to you Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11. And so when you have time, uh, read Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11 through verse 15. Amen. So the word of God says, but Christ being come a high priest of good things to come by greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained in eternal redemption for us for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to god Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death for redemption of transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Amen. So we just thank God for the blood of the Lamb. We thank God because of the blood of Jesus, we have now entered into a new covenant with him. Amen. We are no longer bound to the old covenant. Amen. God has already gave his only begotten son, John 3, 16, and those who believe shall have eternal life. Amen. So it's so important to understand the power of the blood of Jesus, why we must speak the blood of Christ over our lives. Amen. Why we must believe that the blood of Jesus redeems us amen there is redemption power in the blood of jesus christ there is sanctification in the blood of jesus christ there is reconciliation through the blood of jesus christ amen there is power in the blood of jesus and that's why it is important for you it's important for me to speak the blood of jesus hebrews hebrews 12 verse 24 and to jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood sprinkling that speaketh for better things than that of abel amen Praise God. So the blood of Jesus speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. So we just give God the honor and the glory as we enter into the late midnight hour. Amen. So we are going into the third watch from 12 to 3 a.m. That is the third watch. This is the area where there's a lot of witchcraft happening. A lot of things are beginning to be pumped up at this hour so we need to press harder when it comes down to our prayer life amen i know many of you have to go to work i have to go to work too but when you get home try not to get occupied or busy with watching tv try to do what you need to do take your nap and then when the hour comes like this hour right now uh, you will be able to get up and begin to pray amen pray worship amen give god the honor and the glory through your praise amen magnify the lord for he is worthy to be praised our father is worthy to be exalted he is worthy to be blessed i will bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth bless the lord all my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name for the lord is good and he is worthy to be exalted amen so we begin to enter into worship amen we begin to just give god the highest 
praise and we thank him amen that when we exalt him amen when god arise his enemies scatter amen when god arise his enemies scatter for the word of god said let god arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate him flee before him amen so we know god has enemies and we know that they are they 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 come and oppose us amen god's enemies comes to oppose his people so we must speak the word of god we must get in alignment get in the will of god and pray and ask god what is his will ask our father to understand his will amen so that you will be able to have complete victory in every area of your life through christ jesus so father we just bless your name amen we just bless your name according to the word of god psalm 68 verse 19 blessed be the lord who daily loaf us with benefits even god our salvation selah he that is our god is the god of salvation unto god the lord belongs belong the issues from death but god shall wound the head of his enemies and the hairy scalp of such and one goeth on still in his trespass so god to hear the word of god is really pacific he's really talking about what god would do to his enemies amen because god is salvation salvation comes with deliverance um, amen salvation comes with spiritual warfare amen once you enter into salvation uh, you are already in a spiritual warfare right here god it talks about in verse 21 how god wounds the head of his enemies and this and the hairy scalp of such a one as goeth on still in his trespass the one that still continues to commit sin god still punishes him god still wounds him amen ah there's no battle that god cannot defeat amen there's no battle that god cannot win for us amen we are not on the losing side we are on the winning side so we just give god the praise we just thank him for his mercy and his grace in the mighty name of jesus we just thank him for the power of the blood of the lamb as we enter into prayer and take your time and study the scriptures go and study the scriptures read hebrews chapter 9 amen understand the new covenant that we have understand the reconciliation we have through the blood of jesus christ understand that we are redeemed amen we have redemption we have redemption through the blood of jesus christ christ has purchased us purchased us back with his blood amen so we are no longer bound underneath the old covenant we are no longer bound by the law we are redeemed from the curse of the law therefore we are no longer under the old covenant we are underneath the new covenant i mean the living covenant through christ jesus who gave his life freely for us i mean for the sin of the world so that we will inherit the promises of our living god amen the promises of abraham isaac and jacob amen we shall inherit the promises of god but we must be faithful at all times to our father amen we cannot allow the enemy to continue to have legal access to us we must break the powers of satan in the mighty name of jesus and before we could break and bind his powers we must repent of our sin we must ask our father to forgive us of our unrighteousness ask our father to cleanse us with the blood of his son jesus christ ask our father to be merciful to us in the mighty name of jesus christ amen so we just thank god we thank god for the power of the blood of the lamb we thank god for increasing wisdom knowledge and understanding we thank god for the deliverance that we have through his son jesus christ because god is amazing god he is an awesome god he is a holy god he is a living god and we bless his name right now in the name of jesus christ we bless his name we thank you father god we thank you for your many benefits father god we thank you for your deliverance over our lives father god we thank you god that we are no longer bound by sin that we are delivered and the blood of jesus restores us amen the blood of jesus restores us that's right we have restoration with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus restores us whatever the enemy has stolen the blood of 
the land restores us today, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank God for the blood, amen, the blood of the land. We thank God that the blood of Jesus breaks every word curse, breaks every hex and curse and, and, and things that has been spoken over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yay, God. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. We thank you for the blood. The blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. We thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus. Over our families. Amen. If you're married, we speak the blood over your marriage. Do not be moved by what you hear and what you see. Release the power of the blood over your marriage. God honors marriage. Amen. Praise God. Repent. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Added unto your husband. Added unto your wife in the mighty name of Jesus. And the power of the blood will begin to flow through your household. Flow in every area, including with your children. Amen. So we just bless God. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the blood. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus. It counsels and notifies every bondage that the enemy has placed upon us. Yes, it counsels. It nullifies. Amen. It voids every satanic curse, every wicked curse, every bewitchment, every hex, vex, curses that has been spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. We nullify ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. We speak the blood to nullify everything that has been planted in us. Any hexes or charms. Any food that you have been eating in your dreams or anything that you've been drinking in your dreams i command you to vomit it up now vomit it up now vomit it up now any sickness or disease that has been given to you through your dreams to 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 pollute you to defile you i command it to come up now in the mighty name of jesus that's right come up now in the mighty name of jesus be rooted up be uprooted now in the mighty name of jesus and i release the blood of the lamb the blood of jesus over you that's right to break those curses break the curse of sin in your life in the mighty name of jesus we thank you father god we give you the glory, God. We just thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises, God. We thank you for your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that the blood of Jesus speaks for me. The blood of Jesus fights for us. Amen. The blood of Jesus speaks for you. Whoever you are, the blood of Jesus speaks for you. The blood of Jesus fights for you. The blood of Jesus sanctifies you. The blood of Jesus redeems you. The blood of Jesus reconciles silly we give you reconciliation right now you're reconciled because of repentance of your sin begin to repent amen repent just begin to repent in the mighty name of jesus father just begin to repeat what i say father i come to you in jesus name i repent that's right come on i repent for giving my life to the devil. I repent for giving my life to the devil. I repent for giving my marriage to the devil. I repent for giving my finances to the devil. I repent for giving my life, my children, everything that contends with me to the devil. Amen. It's so important to repent because when you commit sin, that allows Satan and his demonic powers to take dominion over your lineage, to take dominion over your family, over every area. So repentance breaks the curses of Satan. It breaks the powers of Satan. That means that he has to leave. He can no longer trespass there because you are repenting and you are releasing the power of the blood of Jesus over your sin. That's right. So repent. Amen. Repent in the name of Jesus. Whatever you ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you, if there's anything that you have said or done, knownly or unknownly, repent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Repent for touching Satan's stuff. Repent for living an ungodly way. Repent and ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask 
God to set you free. That's right. Begin to ask God, set me free, Father God. Remove the sin in my life. Remove the sin in my household. Remove the sin out of my lineage in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove the sin out of my foundation in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every word curse that has been spoken over me. I break every curse of sin in my life right now because the blood of Jesus speaks for me. Because the blood of Jesus fights for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Yay, God. I thank you, Father God, for your Holy Spirit. I pray now that the Spirit of the Lord will do well in those who believe. You got to believe. You got to have faith. Don't let your flesh trouble you. Press, push, cry out to God. If you don't even have the words to pray, begin to cry out to Abba Father. Let the Spirit of the Lord begin to minister to you. Put a demand on yourself. Put a demand on yourself. Pray. Make yourself pray. Don't let the sin defeat you. Push. When you find yourself not wanting to read the Word of God, push. When you find yourself not wanting to pray, push. When you find yourself not repenting, push. When you find yourself not worshiping, not sinning or giving him praises or just giving him thanks just by raising your hands, push, push. Amen. And the spirit of the Lord, he will be able to come in and do what he has to do. Because Jesus, the Son of the Most God, the Most High God, Yeshua, sits on the right hand of the Father day in and day and night and making intercession for us. So put a demand on yourself. Push. Speak the blood of Jesus. Pray that the blood of Jesus will fight for you. Pray that the blood of Jesus will speak for you. Pray that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you and cleanse your mind. Pray that the blood of Jesus will break every curse of sin. Break every curse of sin in your life. That's right. Break, 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 break. Break every curse. Every curse on your father's side. Every curse on your mother's side. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil spirit that's attacking in your life we command the powers to break in the mighty name of Jesus we bind all evil powers we bind the evil spirits we command them to break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we command them to loose you now loose you now loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus whatever needs to be loose in your life whatever's been held bound command it to loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're dealing with sickness or or diseases command it to loose you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the powers of sickness and disease. Break the powers of the spirit of infirmity. Break it. Bind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take authority by the name of Jesus Christ and command it to go, go, go in Jesus name every spirit of lust that is attacking your body every spirit of lust that is attacking your mind attacking your thoughts that is unlawful command it to come out in the mighty name of Jesus come out in Jesus name come out in Jesus name every lust of the eye lust of the ears lust of the mouth lust of the nasal your nose whatever that is triggering the spirit of lust to enter in we command it to go Come out in Jesus' name. Every demon that's affecting your sleep right now, we command that demon right now to go back to where it came from in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, We just thank God. Amen. We thank God for the power of the blood. We thank God for the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. For the blood speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Amen. We just give God the honor and the glory that you will have sweet sleep tonight. That demonic power, the spirit husband, spirit wife, go back Go back to the sender. Go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. No more attacks in your dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. No more sexual sin in your body while you sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. No more covenant agreements through eating and drinking while you sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak a covering of the blood of Jesus of you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in our 
your mouth. Amen. Just give God the praise that you will sleep well tonight. Your children will sleep well tonight. Everyone in your household, everyone that contends with you will sleep well tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name, Father. We thank you, God, that your sleep will be sweet in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God. Yea, God. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessings is upon thy people. Amen. Psalms 3, verse 8. Amen. So we just give God the praise. We thank God right now. We thank him. Amen. We bless his name. We thank him for tonight. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father God. We bless your name, Father God. Who's whoever you whoever's listening, wherever you are in this God's world, begin to push, begin to press, keep praying, keep praying until you have your breakthrough. Believe by faith. Amen. Not by sight. Believe that once you pray, the prayer is already answered in the mighty name of Jesus. So we just give God the praise. We just give God the honor. We thank him for the power of the blood of Jesus. We thank him for the restoration power that he has given us. We thank him that we are no longer in bondage, that we are free. And whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Prophetic utterance, speak the blood, speak the blood, the blood, the blood. Things must change. Things must give way in your life. Amen. You can no longer be held in bondage. The blood of Jesus, amen, will speak for you. The blood of Jesus will fight for you. Amen. Jesus gave himself freely. Amen. So we are no longer under the law because he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So we're no longer bound to the old covenant. We have a new covenant, a new high priest. Amen. And his name is Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the anointed one. So I pray that the anointing will be upon your life right now. And that you will rest well, that you will be equipped with the whole armor of God, that you will have on the shield of faith, amen, to quench the fiery dart of the wicked one, the darts of the wicked one. You will have on the breastplate of righteousness, amen, and your loins girded about with truth, and your feet prepared upon the gospel of peace and we give God the praise that you have on the helmet of salvation Uh huh. your loins are girded about with truth and you have the sword of the spirit by your side and you will make your supplication and your prayers be made known unto God but do not go to bed without equipping yourself put on the whole armor of God in Jesus name may God be with you may he be your peace may he be your portion Amen? Amen.